Yeah, I mean, again, I think you need to go and look at the typical curriculum to see just how much broadening of horizons actually goes on. I mean, yeah, I mean basically what, you know, like, the, the, the horizons that you learn or the options that you learn about in school are, look, I could be a history teacher, I could be an English teacher, I could be a math teacher. Uh, it's actually extremely narrow. I think if you really wanted to give people a sampling of what they might do, you'd have more something like a system of rotating apprenticeships where you'd go and try a bunch of different jobs for two weeks. I think you know, that, that, would, that would be a, a, a much better approach for actually, actually teaching people and giving people an idea about what are, the, what are all the different options that they have in this world. Uh, so, I mean, while there, while there is some value to showing people options, I think education actually greatly narrows people's view of what their options are. Just think about every person who finishes college with a liberal arts degree and then says, what kind of a job do you get with an English degree? They've gone through 17 years of school and they can't even think of any, jo of any jobs that use the degree they've just gotten. It doesn't seem like they've really been broadened much at all. So, uh, that, that, so now incidentally, you know, another thing, you know, question people have is, you know, so what would go on if we were to greatly reduce, greatly reduce subsidies to education? Wouldn't this lead a lot, you know, many people to get much less, much, much less education? Uh, yes, that's the whole point. That is the whole point, is people getting much less education. Uh, so I mean, what would that world be like? Well, uh, part, you know, a big part of it is that so, you know, like, you know, people would start jobs earlier, but also there would be many more apprenticeships. I mean, right now, of course, there are internships, there are some apprenticeships, but they're not a very big part of the economy. Uh, because right now, uh, you know, like, you know, there, there, there just aren't, there aren't a lot of very talented people who are very young uh, around because talented young people tend to be in school. Okay? So basically, you know, you know, I think what, what would happen, uh, how the way the market would respond, having a lot of talented young people out there, is there'd be a big expansion of apprenticeships where you just go and work for, for reduced or low wages for more years when you were, say, 18 or 20, and then you'd wind up you know, lear uh, you know, learning skills and broadening horizons on the job rather than in a classroom, which you know, does it pretty poorly.